Well, a cracking day for it. I've wanted to get my hands on this since I went to its launch. The launch was less than desirable because it was chucking it down. And it's taken me ages, but I managed to wangle it. That this is staying in the Wildbad HQ for a couple of weeks. The Katana, folks. I have in my possession the Katana. I'm really looking forward to spending a couple of weeks with it as well. I've not ridden it at all. Just got it to uh, to this point where I, uh, I like to start some videos from. What do you reckon? I know this divides people straight away. I love how the... Um, it's designed to look like... <laughs> swords. And the more I see that, the more it's, it looks exactly like that. Let's take it for a ride, shall we? Should we do it? Let's roll that. Intro! Alright folks, let's go for a ride. Not be that long on this. This is the very first ride as well, by the way. Apart from the launch, but I'm going to erase the launch. One, because it was a long time ago. And two, like I say, I was fearing for my life because it was wet through. So, let's just go for a ride and see what this legendary Katana's like. It's really as basic as could be. It's got no, no cruise, it's got traction control, I do think it looks good though. It's very, I will say being sat here in the cockpit, it's very weird, because you've got nothing, you've just got nothing. So if you look forward, you haven't even got a bike beneath you. You've got three stages of traction, and at the moment it's on number three. So, uh, you know, most intrusive only got a very 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 small tank I think 100 miles tops as I said before I think when I did the uh, the launch this bike really is for the person who wants to be different I think it looks great and I think only I've ever seen I only think I've ever seen one on the road and it's got that stonking inline four engine that's uh, the same engine as the GSXS so it will go like stink I think it's got quick shifter. I don't think it's got anything fancy. Gearbox is nice and tight. What's this unit got on it? 500 miles. Definitely a Marmite bike. I think it's photogenic though. No quick shifter. I think personally I prefer the feel of a, a V4 or a big V twin. <coughs> you know, the thump of it than the uh, linear, whoosh, the high revving inline four. I'm not really a, not really a, a massive fan of it. I wonder if there's any different riding modes. The only thing I've found so far in modes is um, traction. There's definitely a bit of a, a curve in the power delivery. You can feel it like go like that rather than like that. Do you know what I mean? The switch gear is very, very simple, minimalistic. Yeah, there's definitely a curve in that power. Have we got self cancellers? I don't believe so. Let's have a look. No, still going. No, no self cancellers. Yeah, the power delivery is not brutal like in your face, like the uh, Super Duke is. There's definitely a curve, a smooth curve. It is fairly basic, really. I know a lot of people like that. You know, no fancy computer, no fancy gizmos helping anything. It's very, very basic. Nice though to be able to ride a legendary Katana. I'd love to be able to ride the first one, the original one. 
and the looks haven't changed massively which I think is very good right through some horse I wonder if the modes change the ramping on the acceleration the throttle response all right I've put traction control onto number one so that's one up from off but I don't think that's gonna make no, no difference to the power delivery that's quite different to what I remember now it's a smooth ride I think it's good when you yeah getting higher up the rev range first impressions of the bottom end of the rev range is very weak like it's not it's not uh, it's not talky at all you've got to wind it and wind it and wind it then it comes to life I mean it really does as well when you're at the top end of the red rev range it's um, yeah that's when it's that's when it's happy I think These are literally first impressions of a first ride. Nice and still. Very still. You only really need to nip that throttle. Yeah, no heated grips or anything like that. Yeah, the power is very, like very gradual. There's no, there's no spike in the, in the acceleration, like It's more of a um, slow curve. Not a line, a slow curve. It's a rasper when it's going. I bet it sound good with a different cannon, but it does rasp as it is. very flickable there yeah, that's when front end starts to come up the thing is because it's such a high revving uh, four-cylinder weapon the yeah it doesn't really come alive until you get up there and this was the same with the GSXR and the GSXS we said this the bottom end of the revs it's like yes yeah, it's nice it's, it's right but then you get into the, the higher end of the revs higher end of the rev range and it becomes a different animal but because I'm used to a V4 to me it sounds like I'm like wringing its neck now and I'm only at 5,000 so I would, I'm trying to make it do things you know up to like five six seven thousand and really it's only after then that it starts to go let it go let it go shut up you turd yeah Basically, the higher end, the higher half of this rev range is where it wants to be. That's when it comes alive. private land folks and it's shut dang shut I've still not moved off a full tank yet okay so ride number two Yes, yes, 24 hours have passed since the last frame. And you know, at the moment, I'm fortunate enough to have a garage full. I'll say full, there's room for probably, I don't know, two more. What is this, what is this lady doing? I'll tell you what, I'm gonna go down this way just because I never do. Yeah, fortunate enough to have a garage full at the moment of bikes, press bikes. Um, and this is the one I wanted to come out on. Genuinely, this is the one I wanted to come out on. As I said before though, I'm the kind of person I've always, for some reason, I've always... Hang on a minute. I did not know that did that. <laughs> After all these years of living here, I did not know that that brought me out there. 
That's bloody bizarre, that is. I can't believe that. I've always been... I've always liked to go against the green. Don't know why. I just always have. I've never been up this road either. Let's go this way as well. Um, and, you know, this is a total, total Marmite bike. A lot of people love to hate it, and I don't know why. It is obviously very, very different. And I think that's why people don't like it. But I'm telling you, this this is an exciting bike. It's, it's completely basic. It's obviously legendary. But it's completely basic, nothing fancy on it. It's got one hell of an engine. Um, and I think it looks amazing. It looks very retro. And it looks like the original. Now, who remembers the original? The original motorbike TV show. Egon's named his bike after this TV show. Come on, anybody? Any takers? Any takers? Hyperthrust. Street Talk. Street Talk. It looks like the original Street Talk. Well, a little bit like it. The same futuristic angles. If you're in the 80s. I really wanted to show you an image of the actual Street Talk at this stage, but after just going onto Google Images to uh, have a look at one, I just can't. I just can't show you. I just can't show you. Anyone that's a fan of that TV show was a fan of that TV show. Please don't go on Google and look at that bike. <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> and I, I do honestly find it exciting. And do you know what? As well, it's a head turner. It really is a head turner because you don't see any of them. You don't see any of them on the road. So it's exciting. Obviously there's better bikes, there's more expensive bikes. I think this retails at about uh, low 11,000. About 11,000 I think, just over maybe. But this is, this is, this is completely in a league of its own, definitely, no question about that. There's no other bike like the Katana, is there? Only the original Katana. And I do think that's what makes it special. I've only got two weeks with it. I do definitely want to, you know, try and get to know it properly. Earlier on in the video, that was my complete first ride, so it was just getting used to the fact that it doesn't do this, doesn't do that, whatever. But now I, I've had 24 hours to think about it. I appreciate it because of that. Back to basics. And it's, like I say, it's a proper head turner. But yeah, I chose to come out on this one. I like to be different, and this is most definitely different. It's a pleasure to be able to, you know, be in a position to be able to ride these bikes. And, uh, you know, to bring you videos from said bikes, exciting or not. I feel very fortunate, and I don't take it for granted. It might not be everybody's cup of tea, but I bloody love it. Ooh. Sail through that. Horse, yes, ever so light. It's got a brilliant road stance. It's a basic bike. I'll just go back to good old basic editing on this one, I think. One camera, point and shoot. But yeah, I, I, I do think if, if you're the kind of person that likes to be different or stand out a bit, then this would be a brilliant bike for you. And I think the fact that there's not I mean, I don't know official figures, but I wouldn't have thought many have been sold with the fact that I've not seen many on the road. I don't know, I don't know about that. So because of that, I think it will be a, become a valuable bike. Does that, does that make sense? Because, you know, they're not like, it's more like rocking horse shit than horse shit, should I say. I came into it completely in the wrong mindset saying it's a bit slow for takeoff it's not it's just like I said everything after seven eight thousand is is where it's at so you don't go through the gears like you would on a you know on a twin or a or a v4 you know and really it sounds like you're going a lot faster than what you are I'm only doing 32 a moment Brakes are lovely. Brembo's. 
mirrors are all over the shop at the moment look how overgrown it is now and i know traffic's been coming up here I bet this has been short for the best part of a year, you know. I do like my little uh, road closed photography. <laughs> yeah, this never used to be three Lego blocks high. Pretty sure that's to stop handlebars. Oh no, not too bad. I can get through on this one anyway. I think some of the other bikes won't get through that anymore. Ah, no, plenty. Plenty of room. Plenty of room. No sweat. And it is a nice bike to ride, like, leisurely, because it's not so immediately aggressive. It's, uh, it's quite a pleasure, actually. Is the clock on this? I don't believe there is a clock. Let's have a look. Yeah, there is right at the bottom. 20 past 5. Right down there, look. Yeah, as basic as comes, really. You've got three stages of traction. Your water temperature. Speed, mile per gallon. You've got like a, a little meter there, a miles per uh, economy meter, if you like, so you can see how much your fuel you're using when you're nailing it. Your miles, your uh, miles remaining, 68 mile. Time at the bottom. That's it. Unless there's something I'm missing, that's pretty much all we got. Oh, before I forget, folks, the Wild Bad Chippy Run returns. Week on Thursday. Week tomorrow. Thursday the 3rd of September, Wild Bad Chippy Run returns. We'll be at the departure lounge for 6pm and we'll, um, we'll have a little night out around the Peak District and end up with fish and chips and metal bath. How's that sound? So yeah, Thursday the 3rd. I used to come down here years ago on crosses. <laughs> Perhaps. Perhaps not a great idea, would it? All this used quarry. I remember coming down in on a crosser years ago, well, when I was a kid, on my own, and um, losing it down there somewhere. Bottom of a quarry, on my own. That was a good idea, isn't it? Yeah, that's how you cut your teeth, folks. Right, come on, let's talk about this. This moment in the video now, do you, just tell me, do you think it is or isn't photogenic? I'm not talking if you find it attractive, of, uh, and, and I do, by the way. Very much so. It's so super, so photogenic. Look at them lines at the front. Should we push on then? Nice little rest sat here. Quick start. Does sound good under tunnels. It is very, 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 very smooth. The clutch is really light. That was a bit of a crap gear change there. Panicked a bit for some reason. Can be quite a gritty road this can sometimes. Ooh. Oh, I didn't see you, you little bugger. Look at these roads, I love it. Love it. Listen, folks. Parking lights, what's that then? I'm, I'm taking it, that's... That's steering lock, yeah. It says, ah, oh, yeah, so it turn it one more after steering lock. And it puts on... Oh, yeah, cool. That's good. 
the sword ends if you like puts them on as parking lights and the real ones I guess ah oh, fantastic brilliant yeah that is a good idea yeah it's got that Suzuki quick start you literally just press it and let go you don't have to hold it while it goes like doo -doo 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 -doo. press it let go and it does it Bro. grass in the middle <laughs> grass in the middle of the road good or bad for the katana let's see Forty-seven miles remaining. I'm watching the tank, the fuel remaining, as much as I'm watching it on the uh, electric bike. <laughs> but really, think about it. Hundred miles. Okay, it is a very small tank, but hundred miles really is not that bad. We're well, probably when you're out on tour, especially with other people, you're probably filling up around about that anyway. This looks even less desirable <laughs> I don't know if you uh, if any of you have noticed that but when I take a picture I always got a light go <sighs> after it and it's because I hold my breath when uh, when I shoot so you're not like so when I, I, I line up my shot hold my breath take the shot and then breathe afterwards it's like when you're shooting a gun you should always hold your breath just before you pull the trigger so that's why I do actually edit most of that out because no one wants to listen to that do they? but just in case some have slipped through that I've not noticed that's why I do it hold your breath when you take the shot you get the best shot you can. Watch this. Yeah? Yeah. Well, I hope to do a couple more on this. The more you ride it, the more you settle in with it. It's like anything, isn't it? Yeah, well, we've got this out on the uh, chippy run next week. And I'll also have the, uh, the new Super Jew car from KTM. Yeah, don't forget folks, it would be lovely to meet some of you. If you search Wild Bad Touring on Google Maps, it will show you exactly where the departure lounge is. And uh, we'll be meeting there about 6 o'clock, having a little chit chat, shaking of elbows, and uh, probably on the road for 7, I don't know. And then just have a, a steady couple of hours around the Peak District, ending up with fish and chips and metal bath. Thursday the 3rd of September. Yeah, it's a very pleasant bike to ride this is. Let's have a bit of riding again. But it looks like this might be some weather coming in from over there and I'm going that way over there where it's nice and I really don't want to be caught out one on this and two in my summer gear so I'm gonna uh, end it there I think folks but yeah thanks very much for watching I do hope to bring a couple more katana videos as always it's my pleasure to bring this kind of stuff to you thank you very much for watching and please do subscribe you never know what you're gonna get on this channel but don't forget wild bad chippy run thursday the 3rd of september departure lounge 6 p.m ending up with fish and chips in matlock bath obviously dependent on the weather if it's chucking it down don't bother coming as always though you can just message me and email me just to check all the socials richie vida or email me rich at wildbadtouring.com don't forget to check the links down below. There's always something written down below, so please do check that out. The Cardo Pack Talk deal is still on. So if you're looking to get yourself an intercom, the Pack Talk is the way to go. I'm very happy to be able to say I can get you a, a decent chunk of money off one. Just click the link in the description. It will take you directly to the Cardo website and your discount will automatically be applied to anything that you want to buy on their site. I've said it for years. I stand by the Cardo Pack Talk all day long. It's a fantastic product. Well, I'm not sure you should be out here, pal.
thanks to Suzuki as well for the loan of this superb katana let's go and fill up at the departure lounge and depending on how many of us there are on the chippy run I'll show you where to park First of all, if there's tons, and I don't know how many's coming, come around to this in the, into this uh, travel lodge car park here. Look, just just come over here. Might be actually better to do this. In fact, there, yeah, let's say that. Come over to this car park, fill up, and then come over to this car park. If you are coming, just make sure you. Uh, Set off with a full tank. Fill up when you get here, then go off to that bit there. If the weather's like this, we'll have a good night. Just safe riders wanting a good nice ride and fish and chips. That's it. Alright folks, that's it. I might see you next week at some point, some of you. So from me, the katana and the sunset. We'll see you on the next one. Be good, be careful and be kind. See you! It's getting a bit crackers in here. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Seis. This is going to be given away to one of you lot. Stay tuned. <laughs>